Hey guys, I'm here um, looking at the spotlight flashlights and basically these plug right into your uh, cigarette lighter. That's if you still have a cigarette lighter. So mine's a 2009 Mini Cooper, so I have a cigarette lighter up in the, um, had one up in the uh, center console, which was I replaced with a USB. Then I put another uh, cigarette lighter back underneath the dash where the, um, to the left side of my steering column. So, but there's a cigarette, I noticed there was a cigarette lighter back in your trunk. So I thought these would be cool. Basically they're rechargeable. They recharge off your 12 volts uh, cigarette lighter and they plug in and they keep you charged in case you need an emergency light. So um, basically this is what they look like. They come with a attachment now um, on the back in case that they don't fit your cigarette lighter very well. Then you clip this on, I guess it makes it a little bit longer so you get a better fit. And what I thought was kind of cool too, these only cost about eight bucks on Amazon. And I saw on the, another website, a car website, they cost about 40 bucks. So on Amazon, they're, they said these are made with nickel metal high drive batteries um, inside these to make them rechargeable. They're not lithium. And I'm not sure if I would want a lithium battery in your um, car charging all the time. So they have these called spotlight headbands. So this is what it does, it mounts on that. So you put on a headband so that way if you're changing a tire or something in the middle of the night and you need an emergency light, you'll have this um, headband. So let's go ahead and open this up. These actually just came in a little Ziploc bag and um, along with these two of these, one for each light. So let's go ahead and open this up and see how it fits. Ah, I forgot to mention, there's actually a website underneath here. It's called 12 voltspotlightcom I got it on Amazon. And actually they make all these other attachments. I got this headband on um, Amazon too. But I guess they have this thing called Super Socket. So that way uh, you still have your cigarette lighter, you can plug in your flashlight. Um, I guess if you're having trouble if fitting your cigarette lighter, you can get this and it'll fit tighter. You have a keychain, bar key I get for your bicycle, and an AC adapter so you could charge it inside your house, I guess. So let's go do the headband. This is the headband that, go, that you can get with it. Um, the light, I guess, attaches on the side here, like this. To turn it on, Basically, you twist it, that's how it lights up. So let me, um, let me go ahead, I charged this already, so let me go ahead and um, turn off the lights and see what kind of uh, light we get here. Okay, I'm here in my basement, it's not pitch black down here because it's still about 4.30 in the afternoon, and late in the summer. I got two small windows, computer running, so I, I could see what I'm what around so it's not pitch black but this will give us an idea so here's the uh, go ahead and turn it on so here we're about maybe a foot away two feet away three feet away maybe uh, that's about four feet and let's go one more. That's about five feet. So I can see that if it's uh, pitch black out and you're changing your trying to change your tire, this will, might come in handy in terms of being able to just be able to see enough to be able to see what you're doing and find your tools and stuff. So I'll actually try to demo on that. I'll go ahead and um, maybe I'll try doing my garage when it gets darker later, when it's completely dark, and and I'll try to change my tire in the garage using just this headband. So um, let's go ahead and go out to the car and see how well it fits in the cigarette lighter. Okay, I'm out at my car. So let's go ahead and um, test out that spotlight flashlight. So basically, for at least for the cigarette lighter that's used to be here, I changed mine out to a USB. So that's not going to work anymore. So let me go ahead and... Um, 
that won't power up until I put my key in anyways. So let's go ahead and stick my key in. Okay. So I know that's powered up because of my de my um, light I changed out there is hooked up to the cigarette lighter. And it reads the voltage of the battery. This is the one I got for the USB. So still wanting a cigarette lighter. I end up putting one here. And this is kind of cool because this one actually has a, uh, a light inside it. See that? So let's go ahead and um, see if this works. Well, this one, this, for this cigarette lighter, it just does not fit very well. It just falls right back out. So let's go ahead and try putting this uh, little piece attachment on the back of it and see if that makes it work better. Okay, I went ahead and snapped that piece on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it now. No, it just doesn't, it just doesn't wanna stay. So for this one, it doesn't hold. So let's go ahead and try the uh, cigarette lighter that's in the um, in the trunk. Okay, it wasn't until I got the, you know, after like months later that I finally realized this was a cigarette lighter. It has a blank that kind of uh, covers it up. So we'll go ahead and try it without the adapter first. Okay, so I took off the adapter. So let's see if this fits better. So that actually kind of locks in. So it's actually charging. It turned it turned red. Whoa. It's kind of a little bit loose over there. So let's see um push it in all the way it works. But I can see if you're driving and it's bouncing around. It may charge and may not charge. So let's so I, I think I still have the cigarette lighter that I pulled out of the front. So let's kind of see uh, what's going on here in terms of, this is tighter, this actually holds kind of, but not real tight. So let, let's go back inside and uh, compare them basically, see what's happening. Okay, I'm back inside. Um, you remember it was falling out and actually when, this is, this is the same um, lit up, cigarette lighter that I installed in the Mini to replace the, um, the one there, the steering wheel. So basically when this goes in, kind of just falls right back out. And there's nothing actually tight enough to hold it in. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So basically if you look at those other types of plugs that plug into a cigarette lighter. They actually have those little wings on the side and the little middle thing that actually holds it in tight. But this is the cigarette lighter that I put out of the center dash out of the Mini and replaced it with uh, a USB with a voltage indicator. So actually it fits tight in this. So it locks in. So, and actually it would charge with this. So let me go ahead and um, hook up 12 volts to this and uh, I'll show you. Okay, got 12 volts. So basically when this plugs in, it lights up red. I don't know if you can see that, maybe in the shadows at an angle. It lights up red saying it's charging. So basically the difference between this one and this one is that this one is designed with these little clips here on the side. So basically when you see, when you plug this in, these two clips on the either side actually lock it in pretty good. Just like that. So you see how I was loose in the, uh, in the rear cigarette lighter. So I'm guessing it's just, I need to bend these little clips a little bit tighter right here on either side to uh, 
get the lock in better. So one of the thing about the spotlight um, flashlights, it's uh, basically you can't um, the rechargeable, but you can't change the battery. But um, I wanted to see what kind of batteries were inside here. It said nickel metal hydride, but I wanted to see how this thing was constructed. So I did a CT and an X-ray of the inside of this. So let's go to look at that video. Okay, this is a CT scan of the spotlight. Um, what you see is uh, just many X-rays reconstructed to a CT. We'll go ahead and cut into the side of it. Here you see the three button batteries cut into it. The orange little knobs on the top, the three of them are the contacts, either for charging off or on. So um, this is cutting back out of it from the side. We'll go, go ahead and switch to the top and start cutting in from the top. You basically see there's this one LED element and the three contacts down to the battery, first, second, third batteries, down to the bottom and cutting right back up to the top. Okay, from the x-ray and video, I see that it doesn't come apart from the bottom. This is all like one solid piece, this is all. So it comes apart from this groove here. So basically, I took a, a knife and a pair of pliers and with the other one I had, the green one, I went ahead and worked my way around here and the top popped off, which looks like that. So basically, if you look, there's actually two uh, tabs, and those tabs actually fit into these two um, side grooves here, basically. So basically, you see that these are the contacts, so depending on how it's turned, it, it actually makes the contact to either charge it or to um, illuminate it. So let's go ahead and um, get this battery out of here. There we go. So here's the battery, and you can see a little, there's a little board down there with a the circuit um, spring to make contact to this. So here, just like in the x-ray, you actually saw that there are three button batteries. That's what this is. And it's hard to read, but it says 80H, that's the size of the battery, and it says nickel metal hydride charge so these batteries I looked up and they're 1.2 volts um, 80 milliamp hours so basically they're just running these in series uh, 1.2 times 3 so that's 3.6 so using 3.6 volts to, uh, to illuminate the LEDs so that's what the inside looks like so let's go back out to the car and I think what I'm going to try to do is uh, um, tighten up my cigarette lighter that holds the one in the back and go ahead and see if this is uh, bright enough to change the tire. Hey guys, it kept bothering me why the, um, the flashlight was loose in the back cigarette lo lighter but not in the one that used to be in, in the center console. So this is the one that was in the center console. So you push in the spotlight, it's, it's, it doesn't wiggle in there and you don't get the, um, the charged light going, turning on and off. So I end up pulling out the, the one from the trunk and it's actually really easy. Basically if you get a, a pick underneath the edge of here and it will just pop right out because it's basically just being held in by these two little ridges here. So, but when this one's in, you can see it, it, it wiggles. But with this one that was in the center console, it wasn't. So basically the big difference is, and I don't know why they did it, probably because of cost, is this is the one in the trunk, this is the one that's in the center console. If you notice, the one in the center console has the clips here. This one doesn't. You can see right through it, there's no clips. The center console has these clips, so basically that's what holds it nice and tight. Doesn't, doesn't jiggle. 
this one doesn't have the clips so when you put it in it it loses contact basically so what I'm gonna do is actually since I already pulled this out of the trunk cigarette lighter I'm gonna actually install this one which used to be in my center console and actually you can get these metal pieces without the, the light up ring here um, for about five bucks um, that actually has the clips um, found them online at one of the websites I think it was e, um, ECS tuning you can get just this piece for five bucks so basically um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I noticed that mine doesn't but you can, there's actually a, uh, a light that clips on here that helps illuminate the ring my car didn't come with it let me go ahead and turn on the car and plug in the um, flashlight okay car is on so I plug it in and it's charging so I'm gonna wait till tonight and um, see if I could change the tire with this little headlamp on um, if it's enough light or not Okay guys, I'm in my garage. It's pretty much pitch black here. So uh, I'm going to try to change my tire using that um, spotlight on my head. So um, we'll see how well that works. Okay, this trunk. So here's my air pump. I'll probably need that for the spare. And... Here's the light, the car's not on, so it doesn't um, light up, and I got this. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, grab the headband and put this light. Yeah. Turn it on. Put this light on the headband and um, see if I can change the tires, see how well it works. Okay, it's pretty dark in here. So, let me go ahead and get my stuff. First, I gotta find my headband. Get it here. So, um, let's put it on. That will be uh, hand free. gives me uh, a little bit more leverage. I think I did a video on this. So it's a, it's a 17, which is this end right here. So I have to do this. It gives me that better leverage taking it off. Okay. 
We're going to jack it up with this jack. Raise it up this jack. We are jacked. Clearance out the floor. First got this car, lug nuts work. All the lug nuts, even between the lock and the lug nuts, was uh, C for all the wheels. So uh, I had to use a big breaker bar to get the um, lug nuts off. Plus, for the uh, locking lug nut, it kept stri stripping the key, and I had to use a special tool to grip onto it uh, to get it off. So I think I did a video on that. So now got the drop stair. I did a little custom change to the stair, which allows it has to have a cover so it doesn't keep doesn't rust away. Just lower it. See what I did? I actually put a plastic cover over this to uh, help keep it clean and keep it from rusting. So now get it out. So basically this was a cover used for like a, a stair on the Jeep, that's on the back of your uh, Jeep. So I just went ahead and customized it, make some cuts on it, and actually uh, kept it from, this was all rust, rusting, so I kind of kept it from uh, being all rusty. There. Let me get that on. Find it easier doing it sitting down. If you're out in the side of this road, and you kind of change the stair, I don't mind getting my butt all dirty because it's faster to do it. Just go ahead and get your pants all dirty. my feet kind of hold it up if I get a couple of bolts in, lug nuts in. Make 
You're not cross-threading it, so use your fingers to tighten them down and ensure that you're not cross-threading. Then go with the uh, tool. Go in a cross pattern, which is always supposed to. Pretty sure this tire is going to be flat and have no air in it. So, I guess one of the things to try to keep in the car tire gauge, but the, uh, the electric air pump has an indicator on it. Hopefully, that works. I did a review on that too. And uh, some of the comments on that is some people bought them crapped out pretty soon. I haven't used mine in about a year or so. And uh, hopefully it still works. If not, right, buy something else that's more reliable. Because I'm pretty sure this is there. So, to get some power going on in the car.
it looks like it's pumping up the car right now, so let me go ahead and uh, sign off again, and uh, thanks for watching.